Hello, everybody. We actually have caught uh, Ben doing a little bit of training work uh, with one of our black kites. Um, now, you can't see her at the moment because she's just tucked around this corner here. But uh, her name's Foxtrot, and she's an amazing individual. She's not too old. There she is, just there. She's not too old, uh, but she's really, really interesting because typically black kites, like most of the kite family, uh, what they do is they feed on the wing, you know, feed and fly, feed and fly, snatching smaller pieces of food uh, off the wing. And there's actually a wild red kite that's just popped up on the tree line down there, right over Ben's left shoulder. Um, they feed on the wing, so they catch small pieces of food, eat it, uh, and then continue to fly. Uh, and Foxtrot can do this. It's a black kite. Uh, they are very much capable of this. And you can see so buoyant in the air there. Uh, beautiful birds to watch. However, Foxtrot has had quite a bit of time off this year. Uh, enjoying a little bit of a rest, regrowing some feathers, uh, and really gearing up for the season ahead. Now, because she's had a little bit of time off, she might do that from time to time. It's only right, you know, when we haven't gone out and had a bit of exercise for a while or haven't gone for a run. But she's having a little pit stop, which is absolutely fine. But one of the really cool things about Foxtrot here is that compared to a lot of the other kites, um, they're quite particular about who they like. They like to pick and choose favourites, uh, but not Foxtrot. Uh, Foxtrot is a lovely bird, one of the sweetest natured individuals um, you could ever hope to find, actually. Uh, and the particular bit of training work that Ben's doing today, as you can see, he's over here, uh, but he's not alone. That is one of our amazing volunteers, Jan, over there. He's been helping us out lots over the last couple of months. There she goes. And what Ben's actually doing is working along Foxtrot here uh, to fly as they do naturally in the wild. It's very buoyant motion. But actually, just like this, look at this, to fly to people she doesn't know. She's an incredibly friendly bird. Uh, and it's a really cool thing to see because there are species that due normally to their nature, um, you don't get to see uh, that up close. There she goes again. Absolutely stunning to watch. And it's really going well. So uh, who knows if you come along uh, to one of our experience days uh, over the winter or over the summer in the coming years, um, this amazing, very beautiful bird might be one that you're lucky enough to see. Look at that, fantastic. And you can see ben, Ben's absolutely overjoyed. <laughs> so we've just finished our training session with Foxtrot there, um, one of our black kites. Went really well, didn't it, Dan? Yeah, really um, well. Really happy because it's actually the first time that uh, this year that she's flown to someone that she doesn't know, i.e. Jan. Um, never met Jan before, one of our wonderful volunteers. So it was really quite special to see that almost instant reaction actually. Land on the fist, no problem whatsoever. Um, taking off, a couple of circuits, coming back to Jan mm -hmm. as well. A little bit of sitting on the floor, but that's all part of it. And that's all part of uh, training. For the first session of her flying to um, someone that she doesn't know, I'm extremely happy. Do you enjoy that? Well done, Foxtrot. Indeed, mm -hmm. I completely Big agree. thumbs up.